Hey guys, Coach Carrick here. Hope you've been enjoying the Coastal Carolina content since they have one of the hottest offenses in the game right now and everyone is dying to know more about it. The good news is that someone has already done all the work for you. The 2020 Coastal Carolina Offense Scouting Report is an in-depth study full of information that you won't find anywhere else. This two-part report from Coach Alex Kirby, you'll find nearly 500 pages of information on Coastal Carolina's offense that up until now was only available to the opponents who had to prepare for them. In part one, Coach Kirby gives you the basic overview of this scheme with 101 plays from the Coastal Carolina offense. This segment contains 101 carefully selected Coastal Carolina plays from the 2020 season and examines the nuance behind each and every one of them. In part two, you get the Coastal Carolina Advanced Scouting Report. This thing is the real deal, full of information you can't find anywhere else. Finally, Coach Kirby will be adding even more data in the coming weeks with updates full of extra information. Buy now and you'll automatically get all those updates in your inbox at no extra charge. Best of all, Coach Kirby is giving my viewers a special discount. Get 20% off your order when you go to throwdeeppublishing.com slash flexbone or use the coupon code flexbone20 at checkout. That's flexbone20 at checkout. This offer will not last, so go grab your copy of the 2020 Coastal Carolina Offense Scouting Report today. It's quarterbacks in fall camp to win the job, and Fred Payton and Bryce Carpenter, and here the shot of clears are months later, undefeated. There's a strike and a deflected ball almost intercepted. Affecting the football. Yeah, the impact of the weather, the way that's going to affect this game, something we're watching all afternoon long. On second down, Marable with the run. His first touch of the afternoon. C.G. Marable, a 1,000-yard rusher. And 20. This is the best third down offense in the Sun Belt, Coastal Carolina. Texas State nearly jumped off sides. A long snap cut here from McCall. Option play, the pitch to Marable. Got away from Sione Tupo. Down the sidelines goes Marable. Gets a block. One man to beat. Shoved out by Day Jordan Mask. What a third down. Marable is a third leading rusher in program history. And takes the handoff here on first down. That time swallowed up Cordell Rogers and Jamar Daniels. For personnel here in game 12 uh, that you didn't have in game five and then didn't have, you had at the beginning of the season. Another option play for the shot. It clears Marable again. A stiff arm of Anderson forced out by Zion Chess. Third down offense in the Sun Belt, eighth best nationally. They're converting more than a half of their third down conversions. McCall flushed out on the run, throws a strike right to the sidelines and right to Isaiah Latwig. As you see, head coach Jake Spavadol, the KW1 on his hat in memory of Cambrell Winters as Marable storms into the end zone and the shot to clear score Spillum, who had a big pick, another reward or awarding of the uh, cloak last week. An interception of Zach Thomas. Coastal's defense picked off the App State veteran quarterback three times in the win over the Mountaineers. Marable again down the sidelines, got crunched out of bounds by Mask and Cassie Anderson. A year ago in Conway, CG. South Carolina, over 100 yards that day en route to becoming just the fourth 1,000-yard rusher in program history. His number called again inside the 15. Not real tall. He's listed at five foot nine. Coach Chadwell saying on a good day, he's five foot eight. To the outside, Marable looking for first down yardage. Ball is stripped. I believe her. Needing three to convert. Off the left side goes Shamari Jones. The junior out of Pensacola, Florida, moves the chains for the bring down. Second best red zone offense in the conference, Coastal Carolina. Goal to go here, late option pitch. Marable's going to walk in his second today. It has been here on the sidelines to start this next drive for Coastal Carolina. And it is Reese White, who again had that game-winning touchdown run against Appalachia State. Going in the right direction, and now – it, it, the only thing you can do is take care of what's right in front of you right now. On second and six, Marable still on the sidelines. McCall at the play fake, throws right to Greg Latushko. And this is what he does best. 
That's just his 12th. Well, called his first couple of seasons miserable because of the way that Coastal kept losing tight games. How about this run from Grayson McCall? The redshirt freshman, they're winning them this season. Again, that win over App State last week. They beat Louisiana on a last-second field goal earlier this season as well. That running play sniffed out by Texas State as the flag flies in late. Even this 8-0 start surprised him. He said to an extent, yes, didn't think they'd be undefeated at this point. But it really just speaks to how focused his team is week in and week out. Rogers, the tackle of Reese White, not an O start, would be their third in program history and add to what has already been the best start by Sunbelt team in conference history. Here's McCall, delivers to the sidelines, incomplete for Cameron Brown. The Bobcats have had a lot of issues getting off the field defensively. Opponents are converting 48% of the time on third down. McCall lofts a pass over the left hand off of it of Cameron Brown, who had found us in the Sun Belt of 2-6, and six, but that's not the case this year. This team is 6-0 and oh and atop the East Division. Good throw out of the officials' timeout. McCall to likely his second. I've been the top two targets for McCall this season. As now McCall sets up shop inside the 40-yard line. Option, pitch, Marable. Bounces outside, gets away again. Down the sidelines at a first down gallop. Up to the same thing. Texas State having trouble defending that play so far this afternoon. McCall off the play fake and over the head of Likely. Defended by Jaron Moore. Second shot of clears have done their damage on the ground. This time Jones. And four Bobcats close in. Kevin Anderson leading that greet out there. Look for likely the man in motion. The shot to clears, have to reach a 17 to convert. Here's the blitz, McCall keeps, pitches. Marable got forced out by Anderson, short of the fourth down conversion in seven straight games. Run play, Jones kept his hand on the turf and that might be enough and it is. Already two for two in the red zone with two touchdowns, both scored by Marable. On the option, McCall slicing his way back inside, stumbles down to the 11. The third quarter against Appalachia State last Saturday in Conway. The run up the left side, and again a walk-in touchdown. This time, Reese White. There, they did have their first loss a couple of weeks ago. McCall in the offense back to work on first down. Another option pitch to Marable. Again, Marable 100. And the option out of a, a lot of different looks. After a gain of six, second down and four. White in the backfield scored on Coastal's last drive. Gets free here. A cut back to the inside. Back to the outside goes White across the 40. And another big play for Factor on the defensive side. That's a gain of 33. For Costa Carolina, their 12th rushing play this season of 20 yards or more. And this time, White settled. Wins for the Sun Belt over the Big 12. Arkansas State won in Manhattan over Kansas State. Louisiana defeated Iowa State. And that topic has been one of interest this week as the Cyclones are ranked and the Raging Cajuns are not. McCall on the option that time got snuffed out. He'll lose a yard. Coastal Carolina's going to get the ball to start in the second half. You need a stop here if you're the Bobcats to stay in this ballgame. The shot to clear so far, three possessions, three touchdowns. The Bobcats just haven't stopped this team. Beg your pardon, three touchdowns and four possessions so far. Here's McCall stepping up on the run. The retro freshman glides ahead for the first down and second. More than 37 points a game. The highest scoring average the Shawnee Clears have had since they moved up to the FBS. On first down, another big gaping hole for the Shawnee Clears to barge through. Shamari Jones this time in. Players have stepped up. Players like Willie Lampkin, a true freshman, playing at left guard, has been a big reason behind this success. McCall with a strike to a wide open receiver. 233 plays to get that total. Remarkable offense here from 
The shot to clear is Marable. Spinning away across the 30 before Rogers the loss. In fact, in the Sun Belt Conference, only Justin Rice of Arkansas State has more tackles in the backfield than Nico Esador. On third and five, a five-man rush in the flat. It's caught. It's likely breaking a tackle, hurtling a defender, showing off his athleticism him reel off plays like that. Off the play action fake. McCall slinging it downfield, incomplete. On the coverage there was Zion. And he has now thrown 109 straight passes without throwing an interception with his 11 today. Wide open man to his left, highly shoving Morris out of the at a position in which every snap oh of the my. ball, there's contact. Yes, there is. From a guy who weighs 300 plus on the other side. Marable, the big first half to the right of McCall, takes the handoff, escapes the grasp of Ezador, and then slung down. Finally on the play by Kevin Anderson. May get into the hurry up. Shot of clears in third down, five of seven today. Here's the blitz. McCall stepping up, chucks it complete inside the 40, and it's Javon Hiley. Calling Hiley the team's most consistent player. After converting in 39, McCall back to the air. Escapes pressure on the run, fires complete to the 15. Latushko of collegiate football. And he is having his way against opposing Sunbelt defenses this year. This young kid from North Carolina going back to work. McCall, all day to throw. Rolls out, throws over, this, over uh, the cross of his body, incomplete for Hiley. Coastal inside the 10. Now goal to go with 30 seconds left and still two timeouts. Eternity left for Coastal Carolina. It'll dump off to a wide open Javon Hiley. His second touchdown. So the first play in the third quarter for the shot at clears coming up. Marable, the man in motion. It is a run for Reese White. So Coastal on top by 20 foot. Is on the sidelines now for Texas State. So out of the injury timeout, Shawna Clear is on their opening third quarter drive. Face with second down and five to go. Big hole again for Marable. How many times have we said that? Brendan Looper, the tackle for Texas State, a game at the end of three quarters this season. They've only trailed in the fourth quarter once. That was last week against Appalachia State. Another strike thrown to Likely, breaking a tackle. Isaiah likely inside the 40. So tough to bring down. That was a mismatch. New quarterback in, by the way. McCall off the field for at least this play. Bryce Carpenter. Need to get everybody some reps, and you got the opportunity here with you know, four touchdown lead. And, and you're going to let him play the game. Play your style. I mean, you can see that. Issues all game long for the Bobcats getting off the field defensively. Third down, two to go. And we have a run up the left side. It is short of the first. You have to defend so many different areas. This is fourth and one. The motion of man, Marable. And it is Shamari Jones, the first down. Again, it's plowing through that front seven for Texas State and the uh, We've seen personnel changes where you walk a safety down. They've tried a lot of different things to come up with some stops. In particular, the secondary decimated by injuries this year for the Bobcats. Marable trying to get away from Cordell Rogers. Go is turnovers. No doubt. Just nine committed this year. They committed 17 a year ago. On second down and nine, Marable up the gut. Marable into the clear, into the end zone for the third time. Two to seven and shot to clear advantage. You wonder how much longer McCall will be in the game for the shot to clears. He's taking a shot down the middle. Incomplete. Good coverage of Javon Hiley that time by Jerem. It's now second and ten for Coastal. It's Marable who had the 23-yard touchdown run. 
on the shot to clean Wildcats in the College World Series. Third down and seven from the 40. From a call, the shot to clears. Third down has been there down today. Bobcats bring the blitz. McCall steps up, heaves it towards the sidelines, incomplete. Cordell Rogers, good coverage that time. Things going on, but they did a great job of controlling. I mean, they didn't have tight ends one of the game because the whole tight end room was out. So they did some amazing things. You know, in any normal year, you wouldn't see an informal late October. Fred Payton at a quarterback for Coastal Carolina. That could be the end of the day for Grayson McCall as this play is strung out. Good play for emotional day for this Texas State football team after losing Cam Winters Tuesday night. Start of the fourth quarter, Coastal Carolina is on top on the loss of Cambrell Winters. It's second down and six here with a shot to clear. Shamari Jones the run. Jones leaps across the 40-yard line. Uh, Cambrell Winters is what that stands for. Jones slips. That's going to bring up second down and nine after it. On second down, and they'll say ten. Again, Peyton at a quarterback. The day is done for Grace McCall. And Peyton takes off and runs. Peyton inside of midfield, weaving through traffic. Jaron Morris and Nico Ezendor finally lasso him down. Taking their gloves off, they're so wet. And now Carpenter at a quarterback for Costa Carolina. You see the numbers for Peyton. He has played. In fact, Starlin, you add it all up, and that'll help you get out to 8-0 on their way to 9-0 here today. And on this second down run, that's Penson for a first down inside for Costa Carolina back in 2017 as Zinn head coach Joe Mowgli had a miss the year due to health reasons. And the funny thing is, as a volunteer in Nebraska, Later, the head coach of Costa Carolina, he has led quite the life as that pass falls incomplete. It's now third down and seven for Peyton in the offense. Approach to the Texas State red zone. They're at the 21. Option play. Peyton is going to string it out himself, and Peyton falls ahead, but short of the first down by about four So, fourth down with a shot of clears. They need about four to convert. Inside the 20, they already have two fourth down conversions today. Back to throw. Payton throws for the end zone, incomplete. And there are about that one in West Lafayette for a long time. Long time. Carpenter back at the quarterback here for Coastal. Payton is lined up at receiver at the top of the screen. The option play, Howell Benson, the tackle back of the five. Great stand here. A team playing for pride at this point. Coastal has been in control from the opening kick. Ball on the ground, picked up by Pinson, spins away, muscles in for the touchdown. College football playoff rankings. We'll get back to those headlines in a moment. First, first and ten for Coastal Carolina following a Bobcat touchdown drive. So back to it. Coastal Carolina. Anytime you go play a team out of the East right now, you know you're in for a battle. Coast of Carolina undefeated in the East Division. And with this win today, they have clinched the division, and we will have our Sun Belt title game. Ball Club in Liberty, that should be a really fun game. The game, the championship game, will feature two coaches whose names are really popping up in terms of future openings and some current openings around the country. Big run to the outside, real team regarding the rumors and his name. He's told them that, look, the only reason why my name is connected to a job like South Carolina is because of you. Yep, your success. Drinkwitz, now the head coach at Missouri. Second down and seven. Inside of four minutes to go. Near the fourth quarter. Everything re relatively elementary at this point. Cosmetic, Coastal Carolina with possession. Beasley tripped up by Jaron Morris and down. My goodness. Third down and three near midfield for the Coastal offense with backups in. It's Beasley. 
And Beasley breaking a tackle. He's got the first down inside of the right answer. Yes, it is. And very true because coaches' wives do everything. Nice leap by Beasley around the pile inside. Got to take a look at a different way, I think, and, and give some, some credit to teams that, that don't have losses, that's for sure. And That play heartbreaker to, to North Carolina State. There was a lot of competition for that New Year's Six Bowl, which goes to the best team out of the group of five or non-Power Five teams. And that third down carry against a really good team in Louisiana who's beat a Power Five throughout the year. And now the shot of clears in victory formation. Peyton the kneel down, and that will do it. Coastal Carolina.